Hey folks, Phil the B-Man here. It's uh, winter time, so we're in the mechanical room where it's nice and warm. And we're, we've are got some samples we took a while ago that we never got a chance to test. So we're going to do that. We've done a couple already. Uh, and we're comparing, uh, these are from a couple tests. The ones we're doing right now are comparing Apovar to Hopguard. And so this one, um, uh, a site we did half the highs with Apovar and uh, half with Hopguard. The what samples I took, two mites each, so about 1%, so no difference. Pour, just wash those a little bit. That looks like a clean sample. Huh. Okay, well, good to know. So that was Apovar, zero mites. Okay, and then the one with the hop guard. Okay, might, might, so I see two. So, that, so out of, uh, you know, uh, 400, Bees, we got two mites on the Apovar and four mites on the hop guard. Uh, I'd say probably effective control on both. Okay, now we have uh, two sites where we did. Remember what we're testing here, Dave? Okay, oh, this one, this will be interesting. This is a control site. The whole site was not treated. So these are the highs from the golf course. And that's quite a large sample. That's probably three or four hundred bees. Now, that site... Uh, when we were doing sampling, oh, ho, 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 ho. What do we have here? Mites galore. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, about 20. Oh, more. <laughs> Get the bright light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Well, of course, twenty-three mites. I'm going to estimate three hundred bees. So we're not quite ten percent, but. So that's a site that had no detectable mites on the 1st of September. These samples were taken late October and we'd already gone over the economic threshold. So if you don't think the mites can't get you. Okay, now these ones we have hearts and diamonds were Apovar, right? I don't remember exactly. 
and we'll have to check maybe, on yeah, that. Yeah, maybe we, we have to check. Okay, well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll worry about if we get a difference. <laughs> There's no difference. Now, we got to make sure we got a clean uh, spot on the filter cloth here. Okay, that looks good. Clean sample. I have. Don't think so. That's just a chunk of wax or something. Okay, so that is the diamonds and hearts from Beaudry Park. Diamonds and hearts, Beaudry Park zero. Clubs and spades from the same site. If you're wondering why, I'm, if you're uh, new to my channel, I use playing cards as markers on hives. So whenever we do a test, we uh, shuffle the deck, put them out, and that, that kind of gives us a little bit of randomization. And then also becomes the, uh, the identifier for the tests. Okay, the, uh, we had to switch phones, but the Beaudry Park sample is uh, clean. So there's no difference between those two uh, methodologies at that site. Uh, we had a higher initial mite count at this site. So Springsteen, so this is the spades and the clubs. And one of these is oxalic only, and one is apivar and oxalic, if I recall correctly. No, 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 that's not true. Both of these are uh, formic acid versus apivar tests. So that last one, clean sample for both formic and apivar. And this is a clean sample too. That was the clubs and spades. Clean. Well, that is interesting. Okay. So, what do we got? Control site with undetectable mites on September 1st are in big trouble. The uh, one test versus another, this is Apivar versus Formic with, uh, and this was a low mite, uh, Beaudry Park was uh, about the same level of mites as the golf course, which is undetectable on uh, on our in our test phase in the beginning of September uh, both test out at zero we would have expected them to be up in that range without any control measures so I see equal between those two measures Springsteen had a higher uh, mite count I think they were in the two percent range on September and then we also see zero versus zero 
and then Apivar versus Hopguard. Uh, both of them left some mites behind. Now that was also a, a higher level too. We can let's step out, Dave, and look at our board here. Interesting site is actually at five percent. Uh, in um, and then on September 12th we did Apivar versus Formic and got excellent control. That's fantastic on on both on both methods. Uh, Beaudry Park, where did that one get to? And these are all crossed off because they're all home now. Beaudry Park, here it is, three and a half percent, both down to zero. I'm excited about that. Rices. Oh, I didn't have a, I didn't record that result. Uh, okay, so we don't know that. Um, so we don't know the initial uh, level for that. So, but on these high, and then the golf course, where is it got to here? Uh, right here, they were at 1% left untreated. Sorry, I said un undetectable. I had these two mixed up. Um, golf course was at 1%. Without any interference uh, by me, we're now getting into the 8% range. So, those are ones that we need to keep an eye on. So, what did we learn? Fall treatment of formic appears to be just as good as Apivar. Uh, Hopguard uh, competing uh, fairly with Apivar at that site. Doing nothing, bad idea. <laughs> um, so maybe, now the interesting thing is we have some hives here. We'll try like an indoor rock, rock salad treatment or something, Dave. And we'll see if we can make, uh, get those levels no. down before spring. We also, I'd like to figure out if we can do some inside sampling. So we, the cool thing now is we got some hives with mites in them we can play with over the winter and see if we can uh, develop something for that. All right, folks, there's our results for the day. Um, I found that interesting. I hope you did too. And here's the hives not treated. They're all marked uh, with an individual number, uh, NT. And when we look at them, you wouldn't think there's anything wrong with them. And when I say not treated, they weren't treated with anything synthetic. They did get, uh, I think, through two doses of oxalic. And you can see the stain of the oxalic uh, where they were dosed. I don't see much difference between the, the regular hives. That one would have been treated with Apovar. Lots of bees. This one would be treated oxalic only. Yeah, that one's okay. So, I don't know. We'll be able to track these, the performance of these. Uh, I guess what we would learn is. Is the oxalic enough, even when the mite levels are fairly high, or and the apivar was unnecessary? I guess we'll know in the spring, if not sooner. Hopefully, we only learn in the spring that everything's fine. All right, have a great day.